Good day everyone! In this video, we will discuss about simple annuity, specifically finding the regular payments. In the previous videos, we have defined the following terminologies used in this discussion. We have defined the annuity, the payment interval, the simple annuity, the term of an annuity represented by T, the regular or periodic payment represented by R, the amount or future value of an annuity represented by F, and the present value of an annuity represented by P. Moreover, in the previous videos, we have discussed on how to find the future value and the present value. For this video, we will be discussing on how to find the value of the regular payment. To find the value of the regular payment, we will be using the formula R equals P all over 1 minus quantity 1 plus J raised to negative N all over J. Or R equals F divided by 1 plus J quantity raised to N minus 1 divided by J. The first formula will be used if the present value is given and the second formula will be used if the future value is given. For the representations of the variables for the two formulas, we have R is the regular payment, P is the present value, F is the future value, J is the interest rate per period, and N is the number of payments. Let us try to solve this problem using the formula presented earlier. Paulo borrowed 100,000 pesos. He agrees to pay the principal plus interest by paying an equal amount of money each year for three years. What should be his annual payment if interest is 8% compounded annually? Based on the problem, we have the following given. Since Paulo borrowed 100,000 pesos, it means that P is equal to 100,000. The number of payments N is equal to 3 because the payment of Paolo will be annually for 3 years. Therefore, he will have 3 payments. Moreover, J or the interest rate per period is equal to 0 0.08 divided by 1 since the interest is 8% compounded annually. So this is equal to 0 0.08. Now, since we have the value of P, we will be using the formula for the regular payment to be R equals P all over 1 minus quantity 1 plus J raised to negative N divided by J. Looking at our given, you will notice that we are now complete with the values of the variables P, N, and J. Therefore, we can simply substitute these values on our formula. We will have R is equal to 100,000 all over 1 minus 1 plus 0 0.08 raised to negative 3 divided by 0 0.08. To determine its value using our calculators, what we need to input are the following. 1 plus 0 0.08 equals sign raised to negative 3 equals sign times negative 1 equals sign plus 1 equals sign divided by 0 0.08 equals sign x raised to negative 1 equals sign times 100,000 then equal sign. Finally, you will see that the calculator will show you the value 38,803.35. Therefore, Paolo should pay 38,803.35 pesos annually for 3 years to pay the money that he borrowed. I hope that you have understood the lesson. For the next video, we will be discussing about general annuity, specifically finding the future value. Thank you so much for listening and see you on our next video.